Uh, I've been asked a lot of questions about our upcoming season uh, with all the players we lost position player-wise. And if I had a choice between losing position players who are key and valuable members of our team or losing a lot of pitching, I'll choose losing position players any day of the week. Uh, pitching and defense win championships. And so I'm really excited about the amount of pitching we have coming back. We lost one guy, Luke Heimlich, who had significant innings, and everybody else who had 10 or more innings is, is back this year. So um, I'm really excited about our pitching staff, and, and I'm really happy uh, the way we've been playing defense so far. You mentioned losing Luke, and last year, one thing Coach Casey talked a lot about was not having a, a third or a fourth guy kind of toward the bottom of the rotation there where he knew we had Bryce and Luke up at the top. Do you, do you think you have depth in this rotation that a, a third or fourth guy is available under, under Kevin or Bryce? Absolutely. We have um, we we have two freshmen so far that have, we have a total of four freshmen that came in, but we have two specifically that have thrown really well so far. Uh, Jacob Fennings, who's from Post Falls, Idaho, has done a great job for us. And Joey Munt, by the way, Joey's brother is playing in the Super Bowl this week, and he plays for the Los Angeles Rams and uh, or in two weeks, I guess. But anyhow, uh, they've both thrown really well for us. And then we have everybody else back. I think there's going to be a lot of spots that people are going to be competing for. Uh, we have a lot of players that bring different areas of talent, whether it be speed, um, more power, whatever it is. Um, the key is with each guy is getting him to understand what his role is going to be offensively. Defensively, they're, you know, we're, we're fine there. But understanding their offensive role, not trying to be somebody they're not, and, and then just playing to those strengths to help us as a team. But we have probably seven of our spots right now that are wide open. You guys obviously lost a lot of leadership as, as well as talent off last year's team. So who are some of the guys you think are going to kind of step in and fill in for that, you know, the, the Nick Madrigal type voice that you guys aren't going to have this year? That's a great question. I think we have great leadership on this team this year. Uh, Adley Rutschman, uh, Zach Taylor, uh, Bryce Femmel were named our team captains. We voted for captains right before uh, dead week, uh, right before they went into the finals uh, in the fall. I wanted to wait until the end of fall before they voted. And we had uh, 37 guys vote. And those guys, the least amount those three got, one guy got 34. I was shocked. I've ne and I've been doing this for, this is my 41st year. And I, I can tell you, I've been through a lot of, guys voting for caps. I've never seen three guys get that many votes before. So it's very clear. The other thing is, is I have what's called an inner circle where I have five players in it, including those three. And I meet with those guys uh, almost every week just to discuss how things are going. And I firmly believe that uh, players or the foundation of your program. It's kind of like I refer them to uh, being a soldier. They're the boots on the ground. And leadership starts from the ground up. And so I, I'm a big believer in leadership. And my business background, I've read a ton of leadership books. So um, that's going really well. Who, who are the other two members of the inner circle? Preston Jones is one. Andy Armstrong's the other one. Adley, obviously, you know, he, uh, he's a national name now in college baseball. What can he do this year, though? What do you want to see out of him this year to up his game to, a, to another level? You know, based on what he did last year, um, I mean, that was pretty significant. He ended up hitting 408. Uh, he was, I don't know if you guys are aware of it, but he just received the Richard Dick Case Award for the USA uh, Baseball. I hope I can say that, Hank. It's, it's been on Twitter, I'm sure. Everything gets put on Twitter these days. Uh, USA Baseball Player of the Year for your, all levels of USA Baseball. So what do I expect out of Adley? I expect him to be a great leader. I expect Adley to be selfless and to make the team, um, uh, put the team ahead of his own personal self gain. And, and I think he's going to do that. He's a great young man. I've known Adley since he was five years old. Uh, his dad coached with me at George Fox. He was my catching coach. And uh, and I think he's going to do a great job. The championship defense, you know, from winning the title last year, coming in high rankings, high expectations, and again, how do you keep the pressure off these guys of not needing to feel like there is a title that needs to be defended or to avoid a, a you know the, the so-called championship hangover and kind of keep them just sort of solely focused on what's the problem? Well, look, uh, I'm going to preface that a little bit. First of all, it's my job to love our guys, and it's our guys' job to love each other. And we do a lot of team building stuff. 
And pressure to me is being in Afghanistan and having bullets fly over your head. That's pressure. I mean, I, I think a lot of pressure that's created uh, is way over overdone in college athletics. There's a lot of things in life that are more important than college athletics. So I think keeping things in perspective, but uh, the team building stuff and the things that we're doing, uh, I think are going to really help.